Yeah, g'day YouTubers, Tinker O'Toole with another video. Hope you enjoy the video today. Please subscribe to the channel. Any comments, thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Yeah, g'day YouTubers, Tinker O'Toole again here with another video. Today we took delivery of the still USG uh, hexa wheel it's a different type of wheel it's five millimeters wide it's dressed uh with the v 120 degrees uh so we'll just show you that got the steel usg chart here also because on the steel usg chart if you're to look down the bottom you're supposed to have 25 degrees on the uh back of the, or tilt the head 25 degrees and also on the top plate angle 25 degrees so it's 25 and 25 so you can't make a mistake okay let's get the wheel out so the wheel wasn't bad it was $40 uh, Australian dollar so that wasn't too bad at all and there it is there the still hexa wheel now it is definitely finer than the standard wheels. Uh, I'm almost thinking it's about 80 grit. The dealer sort of seems to think that it's got some diamond coating on the outside. So whether that's true or not, I don't know. But if you hold it there, you can see that it's got that 120 degree uh, beveled edge on it. And when it's mounted in there, you only use the side of the wheel and the angle. So you don't, doesn't go in where the V is. It uses the side of the wheel and one of the angles and the other angle there will be on the bottom uh, where the file normally sits. So that's what the steel hexer is. As I said, it's much finer than the standard wheel. And if you look closely, you can definitely see that profile there and as i said you use the side of the wheel and the vertical you use the the vertical axis and you use this dress side these two angles here if you hold it like that this angle here i'm just trying to focus again this angle here and this angle it's on the edge here this makes 120 degrees so that's your 120 degrees and as i said you sit it in you set it at 25 degrees for the top plate angle and 25 degrees for the uh top plate cutting angle which is the uh, head that tilts so we'll go on to the next stage we've got to pull this wheel out so we've got to take the uh this wheel out and we'll put the hexa wheel in and we'll set it all up and we'll just take it from there okay we mounted the wheel in the grinder and according to still on the usg chart that we've got here if we look down the bottom you'll notice that it says rh for rapid hexa and it'll say 25 degrees on the a which is the so here's the a here so if you follow the column down you've got 25 degrees tilt on the head and if you look at the top plate angle which is the c column so that's the c column there if we follow that down from there now there's the c column right down to the bottom we've got 25 degrees so it's 25 degrees and 25 degrees so for those that just want to uh think of uh, Oregon type grinders, 25 degrees is 65 degrees on an Oregon style grinder. So, because we use zero degrees reference point on a steel USG. So we've got 25 degrees on there. And if we pull this down and zoom in, you'll be able to see the hexa wheel, the side of the wheel, the side of the hexa wheel, and we've got 25 degrees on the uh, top plate angle there. So there it is. Here. You can just see a little bit of tiny light on the bottom. And that's it. So you use the side of the wheel, the side of the grinding wheel. And 
And it's interesting because when you do hexa, I actually measured, it just comes down over two millimeters. I'll just see whether I can explain that to you. If we actually look at the top of the tooth here, and we look where it finishes, that's actually 2.5 millimeters in length. That's on a diagonal. But the actual height, if you measure the height on a vertical axis, it's just a fraction over two millimeters. So when you pull the grinding wheel down, you'll notice that it intersects here and it also intersects down the bottom. That's where it's going to grind. It's flat. So that's the settings for the steel hexa. Uh, we'll just go back a little bit. Just do that a little bit easier so that you can see. We'll just show that one more time. So on the chart, if we look on down the bottom for RH rapid hexa, 25 degrees on on the A chart. A, which if you look closely, that's the head there. And if we look at the C chart and we go down the bottom, we've got 25 degrees on the C chart there. So you've got your little tool, as I said, you've got this little uh, hexa tool here. I'll just You can see hexa written on there. And that's your 120 degrees there. So it's a matter of just dressing the wheel with a dressing block. And... Uh, if we bring the grinding wheel down, you may be able to see that. We'll just actually put this up on a vertical axis. And we'll bring this up, camera up a little bit. We'll zoom in there and we'll sort of show you the profile. So, you know, you just got to get yourself a dressing block like that. We'll get dead on and we'll zoom in. There it is there. I'll just see whether you can... And... If we use... You can see that very clear now. And if we use the hexa... So that's what you're looking for, to dress... So that you can't see any light through. That's, that's dressed... That's brand new wheels, never been used. So it would be just a matter of holding it at this angle here and dressing down like that and using your tool to make sure that you've got it right so that's it that's what the hexa wheel looks like uh, I did do another video where you can get a hexa profile by using 15 degrees offset on the vertical axis and 15 degrees on the horizontal axis that'll give you a spacing of 120 degrees that's a different method. Uh, so, yeah, look, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Bye for now.